Despite Walmart posting billion dollar profits this year and having a killer Christmas season so far. Now the numbers won't be out until January of exactly what they have done, but they have already started stating that, well, for some reason, they're looking to start closing stores, folks, and it's probably coming to an area near you. And why are they doing this? And I don't think that they're going to be the only retailer. This is a retailer that has come out and has really voiced an opinion on this particular subject because they don't want to start scaring people away as people are spending money. Although it could be a really good uh, deterrent as far as getting people out and buying more. And why are they closing these stores? We're going to cover that here in just a few seconds on Survival Preparedness for Beginners. So Walmart made this huge announcement this past week that uh, due to the um, certain criteria that is taking place in a lot of their stores, they are looking at shutting these stores down. You see, folks, what is really happening here is people are stealing billions of dollars out of Walmart and it is finally hitting their bottom line and it's cutting into their profits because when you start losing and shrinkage over billions of dollars as a corporation, something has to give. So what they're looking at doing is they're looking to start closing these high shrinkage stores and just shutting the doors. All these employees will be out of a job Local people that need those kind of stores, maybe they, you know, they can't get around or it's a walking distance of where they live will no longer have that effect and will no longer have that ability to walk to a local store to buy things that they may need. Now, what is one of the biggest reasons why? Walmart has this huge shrinkage going on, and they're not the only retailer. Now, let me explain to you the downside that has really started trickling, and it's turned into a mudslide for all these companies that have gone with technology. We all know how they've already started, you know, years ago, replacing the cashier ringing up your order where you had to put everything up on the conveyor belt and they rang it all up and loaded it back into your cart. And now they're relying on people to do this themselves. Now, yes, they do have quite a bit of extensive, um, you know, technology built into that. You know, they're watching everything you do and, you know, they're watching how you scan the products and all this kind of stuff. But some way, a lot of this stuff is still getting out of the store and, um, you know, these crooks, they figure out ways to basically cheat the system. This is what they do. And in the long run, Walmart did announce that it is going to cost us more at their stores because they're going to start raising the prices on all their products because of the shrinkage that is in these stores. So as far as I'm concerned, if you would actually start taking out the self checkout, which I think any store that has put that in probably has seen an increase in their shrinkage because these crooks that are out there, they're figuring out how to get around that particular service that they are offering and they feed it you know they're going to figure out how to beat the system if you get what i'm saying folks and we are paying the price in the end because of what is taking place when they put these systems in they should have just never done it they should have never had them you always had that express line do we all remember those you know 20 items or less, 10 items or less, anything like that. And, you know, let it go. Let it just, you know, you get in that line, you got a couple of things, a gallon of milk, loaf of bread, you go up, you pay, you're out the door. 
No longer do we have that. And furthermore, Walmart is looking at closing quite a few stores in a lot of states. Now, they haven't exactly said exactly which ones yet, but you're going to see that start to come to a store near you. You're going to start seeing signs up starting in January because then the Christmas season's over and they're going to cut their losses and it's going to affect a lot of people. I know there's a lot of people that will not really be affected by this, but in the long run, it will affect the people that have to shop at Walmart because that's all they can afford. And we need to think about those folks, especially anybody that's elderly or anything else that has difficulties getting around, if you get what I'm saying. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I wanted to bring a quick video today on what is taking place, why this is happening. And it's not going to get any better, folks. As the inflation starts to rise, as the interest rates keep going up, and people are going to start losing their jobs starting in January, which is in another video coming out later this week, and why this all rolls into one big mess that we are going to have to deal with somewhere down the line. Because nobody's going to be there to like give us a handout to help you out. Nobody's going to be there to help. You guys are on your own. That's why it is so imperative to be prepping and be ready for the coming storm. Because I tell you what, folks. These companies, they're going to do whatever they have to do to make sure that they post the highest profit that they possibly can and they don't care if you work there or you don't so till next time folks you all stay safe keep prepping and remember it's up to you to make a change i'll catch you all on the flip side